Once before time, there was an energy field, an energy field of truth, harmony, pure potential, omnipresence, vastness. It was infinite, eternal, everlasting, and all there was and is. It was the energy field of love. It had no beginning and no end, infinite. The frequency of love included peace, harmony, happiness, bliss, and all other frequencies of high vibration, which are love. It was given many names, the universe, God, a higher power, Jehovah, the creator, source, and so on. What it is called does not matter. What matters is that in its essence, it is known as and is love in all beliefs and is the underlying generator of life. Being a field of pure potential, infinite possibility, capable of creating, the energy field of love developed a desire, a desire to realize itself, that is, to experience for self what it is, what love is, and to know itself, all that it is, and all that there is. Yet how could it know what love is and its potential if love is all it is? The only way it could experience its true essence as love and its potential was to experience the opposite of who and what it is. The opposite being fear and all lower vibrations related to fear, attachment, envy, guilt, shame, hatred, lust. Being truth of all there is, an energy field of love, it had to experience the opposite. In an illusion, a physical existence, hence the beginning of the great plan of love and its creation. We come into the world on our own. We leave the world on our own. Surely this means we have come to do something on our own. Perhaps self-realization, love, the creator, decided to create within itself the energy field of love, an illusionary playing field for its great experiment to know itself. It then decided to create within itself various forms or molds through which it could experience itself. These would be tangible as it is vibration, it is energy. So it could experience the opposite of itself in tangible form. It started with the creation of planets. The first planet was created at a vibration slightly lower than the vibration of love. The next planet was then created at a slightly lower vibration than that of the first. And so each one was created at slightly lower and lower vibrations than that of the others. Until the last planet was created and the vibration was dropped all the way down to the opposite of love, the vibration of fear. It called this planet Earth. Then it decided within the form or mold of the planets it had created within itself 
it would create other forms of life. Each planet had different forms made within themselves to experiment for themselves at the levels of that planet specific vibrations. When it came to the creation of the forms of life for Earth, it once again chose different forms of life created within Earth at different vibrations. Some took the forms of plants, others trees, grass, rocks and so on, all with their own vibration and then it paused to contemplate a more advanced form of existence to experience the opposite vibration of itself, fear. And it formed within itself the form of a human being. This was a phenomenal formation because not only would it aid in the experiment of what fear was, it would experiment itself as matter, physical in form, which was the opposite of what it was, energy. In fact, it was such a phenomenal creation as it, the energy field of love, all that is in oneness had created yet another experience for itself the experience of separation. Each human form created appeared separate from each other and it said, this is good. Although the creations appeared separate, each was a form within the energy field of love and still love in essence. Just like play putty, it is putty. It can be molded into forms and take the form of anything you create. In essence, it is still putty and at the end of play, the mold is dismantled and merged back with the ball of play putty. The reason for this was that if there was only two or few parts of itself as human, it would take a very long time for the experiment to happen. The plan could work faster with more portions of itself. Each were created as unique unto themselves. We know this as we each have our own unique fingerprints. This uniqueness would be within our emotional state too which enabled more beings to experience the opposite of what it is in many forms of fear, guilt, hatred, and so forth. The wonderful creation of the human form within the planet form of Earth, within the energy field of love, would it be experienced by undergoing an occurrence, a discovery of the opposite of who they are in the form of a human, experiencing fear for this great experiment of love. Of course, love would have to enclose the planet Earth in a veil of amnesia. The simple reason for this being that if the forms of itself as humans remembered who they were they would bring love to every experience of fear they encountered and naturally fear would disappear. But then the whole experiment of love experiencing itself would fold and the experiment would come to an end before the full impact could be experienced. Just as when light is brought to darkness Darkness disappears. When love is brought to fear, fear would disappear. The veil of amnesia was draped over the earth. Love in its wisdom decided that within its earth planet form, within itself, 
it would soften the vibration of fear by including ups and downs in the experience of life for the human forms within itself. Because if they experienced only fear, they would all choose to exit the planet and return home to source. And hence once again, the whole plan would come to an end before the experiment had come to completion. And so it was. The information that was downloaded suggested that there would be a time period placed on the great plan or experiment of the Creator, and that was 2012. This would be the time the plan or experiment of the Creator would come to an end, and the energy field of love would begin to raise the vibration within all the forms of itself back to the vibration of love. This would take time and would be implemented as a slow process of removing the veils of amnesia, layer by layer over time. At this time, the human forms would begin to experience an awakening. They would begin to feel through the illusion and begin to see truth beyond what they had been told. The raising of vibration would also lead to a connection of a special device placed within the subtle body of the human form known as a soul to guide them on their way home. Many ancient secrets and practices would be revealed at that time to assist in this ascension. Many have been revealed in this download. From this, it becomes clear that we are an illusionary finite form within an illusionary planet existing. Created within the energy field of love as its experiment to know love. Once this is achieved, the illusionary infinite form and planets are raised back to the vibration of truth and love. Fear disappears and we are one. There is therefore, as our finite form within the infinite, a subtle form that each human form is within and part of. Each human is unbeknown to themselves, a multi-dimensional being. They have to be, because in essence they are, within and are, the vibration of love, molded in a human form. Their multi-dimensional self is comprised of finite and infinite, or visible and non-visible dimensions. This was a genius part of their creation by the Creator in experiencing the illusion in the great plan of life, as they could not see or touch their infinite part. So the illusion was formed within the awareness of their finite part. This led to them believing that they are a physical body living in a physical world and that is all there is. This would support the experiment of the opposite of who love is, to its full potential. Later, this illusion would disappear as the experiment or great plan comes to completion. It is obvious, however, that the physical form of who we are is an illusion because when we die, our physical body remains here and our energy body, essence, merges back with the energy field of love. The infinite dimension of who the human form is is in the form of an electromagnetic field termed an aura surrounding the human form's physical body. It is vibration 
and therefore cannot be seen normally by the human form. The electromagnetic field is the energy body dimension of the multi-dimensional being where their other invisible form or part resides, their thoughts and feelings. They reside in this field as they are energy in form and therefore cannot reside in a physical form. Although hard science dismisses the existence of an electromagnetic field as you cannot see it or touch it, the writer's opinion is that we cannot see or touch our thoughts or feelings, yet we know we have them and they reside in the electromagnetic field. This energy body is who we are in essence. As we will discover later, our mind is the bridge or connection point from the physical part of our dimension back to our soul, the energy part of existence. We, our soul, having a human experience. The meaning of human being is hue, ray or radiance. Man means mind, and being means essence or soul. We are a radiant mind in soul or essence. We are energy in essence, not physical. Our physical essence is a creation as part of the illusion. As the veils are being lifted and we begin to shift in awareness, and feel through the illusion and seek the truth of who we are, our energy body becomes the center of focus as it is who we are in essence, above the human form which was created as part of the illusion. As the ascension begins, we begin to experience and explore and work with our energy body. What the writer came to experience was that our energy body, who we are in essence, has always been present in our human form experience. It has not been acknowledged, firstly because we cannot see it, but secondly because we are under amnesia for the period of time to experience the physical existence. As the illusion and the great plan draws to a close, we get to discover and work with our energy body in raising its vibrations from fear back to love. The energy body, our thoughts and feelings played a very large part in our experience of fear in the human form. The thoughts and feelings we hold our electromagnetic field creates a vibration and depending on that vibration, low or high, we attract similar vibrations in the form of people and circumstances in our life as our experience. Now this is very powerful because we get to understand that we are creator of our life experience through our words, our thoughts and feelings. There is so much more to this that we look into in the study. If our vibrations are low, that is what we are attracting in situations and people. Suddenly, Life takes on a whole new meaning. In the current form, in the illusion, the physical form, people feel like something is missing. They feel incomplete. As the physical form, in the illusion, they think they are a physical being in a physical world and that is all there is. So they look outward into the illusionary world for what is missing. The bigger house, a better car, a partner, 
Yet each time they find this, there's still a sense of incompletion, lack, something missing. What is missing is the other half of who they are, the infinite within, their soul and energy body. And when they raise their vibration and merge back with essence, they are complete and fulfilled and experience a whole new existence. When this is achieved, self-realization is attained. I am that, fearless, limitless, and creator capable of manifesting my every experience. And this manifestation is instantaneous. As it comes from pure intention and love, manifesting on behalf of all, on behalf of the oneness, creator for the raising of vibration on the planet to merge back to love. With this completion and fulfillment is attained. One lives in contentment regardless of what is going on in the world around us. The sooner we remove the veils and purify our minds, we release blame, judgment, unforgiveness and criticism. We realize that whilst we hold this in our energy field, we are self-sabotaging ourselves by contaminating our energy field with low vibrations and that is what we attract to us in our experience. The realization is then evident, we are love, oneness. The rest was part of the illusion on behalf of the creator. There is no better or higher, no lower or less, no race, no gender, no murder, no beggar, there is no saint or sinner, no right or wrong, no heaven or hell, hatred, envy, anger, grief, depression, is just what was to be experienced, pain and fear is our greatest gift, it gives us the choice of using the experience to grow through the pain so that we can help others from the experience. It leads us on an inward journey where all of our answers lie, away from the illusion. Here we merge with universal consciousness and have all access to the wisdom and knowledge of the eternal truth of who we are and come to self-realization. We see through fear, we see through the illusion, and we return to love. This inward journey involves understanding of our energy body and our energy field. As it is energy in essence, it's food, exercise, and nourishment for growth is different to that of the physical body as it is not physical. Join us on our inner journey learning the traditional ancient secrets and techniques of feeding, nourishing and stimulating the energy body to raise our vibrations to higher vibrations and return to truth and love. Email us at pathways country yoga retreat at gmail.com or visit our website yoga retreats sa.co.za Namaste. I am Jennifer Fitzsimmons from Pathways Country Yoga Retreats in Eston, KwaZulu Natal. I hope you enjoyed the movie, A Pathway to Inner Peace. This came to me many years ago when I was diagnosed with depression. 
and I was at a very desperate place to find out how to heal myself. I delved deeply into the subconscious mind and the workings thereof and I was able to come to a place to create a yoga nidra that helped me through depression. There is so much pain in the world today that I feel to share with everybody that would like to be free from depression. The subconscious mind is a storehouse of everything that has happened to us in our life and it is the place where we receive our outlook to life and our reactions to life. We have to go to the deepest parts of the mind and heal this. Unfortunately, most of our programming has come from fear. If we can transform our mind from fear to love, then we can live in, with inner peace regardless of what's going on around us. In the description of this movie, I've added a link and that link will give you a yoga nidra to help relieve depression and to reprogram the subconscious mind from fear to love. I believe that the only way that you can do this is through experience and that is why I have created this. I got to learn the language of the subconscious mind which is in pictures that come in the form of symbols, feelings, words, but most importantly repetition. We are creating a new pathway and repetition has to be done. That is the language of the subconscious mind. Repeating over and over until it becomes the new program. So listen to it at least once a day and re-listen until you start feeling the effects. The only time you will feel it is in the repetition. It is a discipline. I hope for inner peace and love to you and the planet. Namaste.